everybody. This is going to be completely raw footage. Um, technical issues I haven't really been able to uh, take care of some things, too many things. Um, my pain management regime works well for me, but uh, covering the pain, but it doesn't leave me um, functional enough. I haven't yet found the right balance um, to take care of what I need to take care of. I don't have enough time. It's still the exact same amount of time that I'm um, incapacitated every morning. Um, I'm just not in excruciating pain. And um, next steps, I'm going to try and get into a U of M long hauler uh, clinic just because of the timing. Even though I've never had a positive test, I'm just going to call and see where it'll get me and uh, start there with that. And I'm going to call uh, my primary and see if he'll do a hormone panel. I already called my rheumatologist and asked, and they said uh, it's a good idea, but they won't do it. That'd be something I'd have to get from my primary. Um, I have labs to do for my rheumatologist to follow up with. Um, that will probably get done uh, next week. I finally have a new therapist. I met her one time. Um, we basically just set things up. I, I haven't got a chance to talk to her about anything um, at all. And I feel like my last therapist left at a very critical time. Um, and uh, there's a lot that I can't recapitulate. I don't even have the um, psychic or physical or mental or emotional reserves to um, uh, fill her in um, or remember it all. Um, so picking up right now uh, is kind of heavy duty. Um, I'm trying to find the right balance with my medication so that it doesn't interfere with my ability to um, be a productive person. I need to call my mother um, and give her my uncle's number. I need to call my cousin, um, family emergency. I'm not close with my family. And it came out on Facebook, there's a family emergency and that sent calls around. Um, and there's still some calls that need to be made um, from that. Um, and I need to get in the habit of calling my mother more often anyway. Um, my father passed away when I was 19 and I will always regret um, that I didn't get to talk to him much at all, and it wasn't for lack of trying. I just could never get a hold of them um, when I was away at college. Um, before he, he got sick and passed, um, I don't want that to happen twice, so I need to call my mom. And um, I won something. Oh, I'm also looking into uh, internet coaching uh, from someone who claims to have helped coach people to recover from CFS. It's not unheard of, but it's very rare to recover from chronic fatigue syndrome. You might be fatigued from something else and recover, but chronic fatigue syndrome is kind of chronic, um, permanent. Um, so... I'm curious to see how legitimate she is, um, how much the, she would cost, and as long as she doesn't tell me anything that would hurt me, there's no harm in trying. I've got to try something, um, especially if it, she doesn't end up just spewing out common knowledge that everybody knows already, like do yoga, drink water, get a good night's sleep. Put turmeric in your food. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, I get acupuncture. Manage your stress. Um, and charge me more money than I make in a month. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just poking around trying to find out um, how legit she is. 
And if I can afford it, and she seems well and true in, ten, in her intentions, um, then as long as she doesn't tell me to do anything that would be harmful, things that are good for my health are good for my health, so why not give it a shot? Um, so I might do one-to-one -one coaching with somebody. And um, I won uh, Lisa Bilyeu and Evie Pomporis um, from Women of Impact, their um, sub-show uh, inside the show of Women of Impact, where Evie co-hosts, they did a contest and um, I saw it at the last possible second and applied that day. And I was like, I don't even know why I'm applying for this. You know, there's no way I'm gonna get it. It's part of the reason why I applied for it because I assumed there was no way I was gonna get it. 534 other people applied for it. And it's a chance for a three-way Zoom call um, with them. And um, then I, my comment got picked and I was beyond thrilled, but I assumed that I screwed up on the follow-up steps, but then I heard back and I guess I haven't. Um, I feel um, really, really honored, really, really excited. And I'm trying to do that, that <laughs> hack they always talk about in podcasts where they're like, you know, excitement and body feels just the same as anxiety. So just tell yourself you're excited. And really, I am truly excited, but I'm also um, extraordinarily nervous. I don't feel um, like one of the episodes, uh, Lisa was talking to Mel, um, and she was like, oh my God, Mel Robbins is on the set. Am I, should I even talk to this woman? Like, I don't feel good enough to even ta be talking to those women. Um, I, so... Um, they're, they're so accomplished. And so, you know, it's intimidating, but it's an opportunity uh, to speak with um, two incredibly intelligent, um, sound, confident, capable women um, that I admire um, for a half an hour. Um, that's an incredible opportunity, and I'm f I'm just drawing blanks of what to ask. Um, my my faculties, my physical and mental faculties, are so de dead at this point that it's hard for me to get through a day. Um, and remember to do the basic things, like got to call the primary to set up the hormone test, that, to remember to <sighs> ask what once in a lifetime opportunity questions. Uh, that could be life-changing um, and what to say. There's no guidance on what the topic's really about necessarily. I'm assuming it's about what the video is about, which is uh, health care, your body being important, your mind being important, trying to be sound and unbreakable, um, body, mind, and spirit. Um, and helping with that and you know that's that's what I need in my life right now um, but I don't know if I even know how to spit it out it's easy to talk to a camera when the one's there um, even though I know technically you're there you're not really there right with me it's hard um, when you're really so sick, you can barely remember your own name half the time. You find yourself in the room and you don't know why you're there. Um, and you can't, you just, you're not thinking straight. And uh, you're barely keeping your hygiene and your household together. And yet you have the opportunity to like, it'd be like meeting Miss Obama. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, uh, I never get an opportunity like this in my life and I just don't want to waste it. And I fear, um, I think that's the thing that I'm most afraid of is wasting it. Um, so I'm excited, but I'm also incredibly nervous. I don't, I don't want to waste the opportunity. I'm hoping to walk away from it with some nugget of wisdom uh, that I can take with me and move forward at least a little bit even if it only carries me a little ways, um, something. 
and the fact that I even won that opportunity, um, you know, is helped helping me to keep going. Um, it's what's getting me out of bed to call the doctors and do this stuff because I pretty much had given up. Um, good things don't happen to me. Um, and that happened to me. So that's the update.